Fellow councillors, staff and residents viewing via live stream, good morning all and welcome. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land on which we stand, the Gulnay people. I wish to acknowledge my respect for their current and emerging elders and those in dreaming. I thank them for the contributions they have made in building this community. Apologies, we have an apology from Councillor Therese Millwood. Are there any other apologies? I'll take that as a no. Uh, we move on to a declaration of conflict of interest. Declaration of prescribed conflict of interest or declarable conflict of interest. Please use this opportunity to make public any prescribed conflict of interest or declarable conflict of interest in respect of the items in the agenda. Councillors should use this opportunity to disclose and or comment on other councillors and or staff interests in accordance with the Act and the regulations. Are there any conflicts to declare? Okay, I'll take that as a no. Uh, we move on to item one, major projects. Item 1.1, page two, tender consideration plan, Port Enterbrook, and Mr Wilkes will present. Morning. Morning, Chair. Morning, councillors. Chair, um, council is currently undertaking a significant procurement process for the replacement of Port Hinchinbrook sewage treatment plant, with construction scheduled to commence late May 2023. Uh, as previously advised, market sounding and evaluation of nine potential contractors over January and February resulted in identifying two only contractors that are currently available and considered qualified for the invitation to submit for the project. At its meeting on the 23rd of March, Council resolved to prepare a tender consideration plan for the project. And, recommend, and the recommended plan has now been developed and is attached. The objectives of the plan are to enable the construction of the Port Hinchinbrook sewerage treatment plant and to upgrade the assets designed to service the current and future population forecast for the Port Hinchinbrook area. Uh, the objectives of the plan uh, will be achieved by Council adopting the tender consideration plan to allow for a select tender process to the two identified qualified contractors. Uh, the recommendation is that Council adopt the attached tender consideration plan for the procurement of the Port Hinchinbrook sewerage treatment plant. Thank you, Mr Wilkes. Any questions for the officer? Uh, Councillor Barnes. Well, thank you very much, Mr Chairman. Yeah, thanks for a very good report and it's been a great to hear it. Um, Mr Wilkes, is there a... Uh, you've mentioned here construction should commence in May this year. Is there any other times that you could give us councillors uh, in this whole process? Is there a time factor through other issues of this tender? Um, Chair, the, uh, the tender process, so the tender will be released uh, this afternoon, uh, subject to approval by Council, or acceptance of the recommendation by Council. Um, the tender process will close late April and then uh, be subject to evaluation and recommendation back to Council. Any further questions for Mr Wilkes? If not, would somebody move the recommendation? Moved by Councillor McLeod, seconded by Councillor Barnes. All in favour? Carried unanimously. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Mr Wilkes. Uh, we move on to item 1.2, page 9. Compulsory acquisition of land, Port Inchibrook. And Mr Goodman will present. Welcome. Morning, councillors. Morning, Mr. Uh, before I start, um, Mr. Mayor, I'd just uh, like to thank yourself and councillors uh, for uh, making your time available today for this um, special meeting, uh, which allows us to um, hopefully keep this uh, Port Hingerbrook uh, project um, moving along as, as quickly as we can and uh, without, uh, without delay. 
this uh, this report is uh, is is also associated with the um, project at uh, Port Hinchinbrook and as part of the normalisation, um, compulsory acquisition has been finalised for the lots associated with the sewage treatment plant, its irrigation land, as well as lots associated with the roads within the Port Hinchinbrook estate. Uh, that that work was done by the state and those uh, that compulsory acquisition process has uh, been completed and there's been a number of reports uh, to council on those matters and uh, most recent one where we converted those to road air, uh, those on that look like roads to roads. Uh, this report is regards as a number of uh, key bits of infrastructure with sewerage uh, which uh, are still on private land and it's important for the ongoing construction, uh, management, ownership and maintenance of those pump stations, uh, sewerage pump stations that they are on land that council controls. Um, so this, is, this report is to do with the acquisition of lots associated with sewerage pump stations. Uh, council's able to negotiate through private treaty the acquisition of a number of these lots, however council's now in the process of compulsory acquisition of several remaining lots. This report seeks from a approval from Council to continue this process by compulsory acquisition of three further lots where agreement with the owner has been unable to be reached. Uh, through this process it is, I think it's worth noting, uh, as we identified in the uh, legal implications that there is, um, Council has delegated this power to the Chief Executive Officer under Section 257 of the Local Government Act 2009. Uh, that's further been subdelegated to myself and that's uh, allowed us to get to this stage. Uh, there is some debate of whether this report is uh, and, and this resolution is entirely uh, required because of that delegation but uh, we've received advice that uh, with this um, hopefully uh, resolution of council that will uh, make sure that there's no issues as we proceed. The recommendation uh, is that Council affirm the issue or under delegation of the notice of intention to resume from three sewer pump station sites being being resumed from lot 57 SB 196157 to create proposed lot 3 on survey plan 339057 that's a total of 14 square metres. From lot 99, SB 190029, to create a proposed lot 1 on survey plan 339056. It's a total of 180 square metres. From lot 99, SB 1, uh, sorry, lot 99, SB 190029, to create proposed lot 2 on survey plan 339056, an area of 42 square metres. Note that there has not been objection uh, from any affected party as we've uh, proceeded um, down this path to date. Um, and that f further note that as the landowner is a corporate entity, it is not necessary to consider the Human Rights Act 2019. Uh, and lastly, that Council proceed to make a formal application to the Minister administering the Acquisition of Land Act 1967 for the taking of Lot 3 of Survey Plan 339057 and Lots 1 and 2 on Survey Plan 339056 for sewerage purposes. Thanks Mr Goodman. Any questions for Mr Goodman? Uh, Councillor Barnes. Good. Thank you very much for a good report Mr Goodman. Just explain to me in layman's terms, why is all this necessary and the hasn't been necessary up till now? Uh, Port Hinchbrook, the normalisation of project, uh, normalisation of Port Hinchbrook is turning that what was a private estate into something which is far more like uh, a suburb of Cardwell. Um, as it operated as a private estate, um, they could set their own rules and manage risks in their own way and um, they have had um, critical bits of infrastructure on private land. Um, that's the, 
I don't know if I'm, I'm doing a great job here, no, Councillor Barnes, but uh, it's, it's really important that if, as Council is taking this infrastructure over, that we've got act, we have guaranteed access to that land, uh, that we can construct, maintain um, those a assets uh, to ensure that uh, we're providing services, um, sewerage services to the residents. Any further questions for Mr Goodman? If not, does somebody move the recommendation? Moved by Councillor Baines. Seconded by Councillor Purvin. All in favour? Carried unanimously. Thank you. Uh, we move on to item two, Governance, Environment and Finance, 2.1 page 11. Re request for leave of absence, Councillor Trees Millwood, and uh, the CEO will present. Thank you, Chair. Uh, through the Chair, Councillor Theresa Millwood has requested a leave of absence uh, for medical reasons for the following period, Friday the 31st of March 2023 to Friday the 26th of May 2023, inclusive I'll just uh, direct Council to Council's uh, meeting standing orders and procedures. Um, I'm satisfied as CEO that this was provided uh, as soon as practicable um, in writing, whilst not the two weeks prior to this Council meeting, but um, as soon as practicable and in writing. And uh, the period that is requested is less than three months, so it uh, doesn't require any, any further consideration around membership of boards at this stage. Uh, there is, therefore, a... Uh, a recommendation there and the recommendation is that um, Councillor Theresa Millwood be approved for a leave of absence for medical reasons for the period 31 March 2023 to 26 May 23 inclusive. Uh, I'll move the recommendation. Is it seconded by Councillor Dewey? Is there any further discussion? All in favour? Caved unanimously. Thank you. Uh, meeting closed at 9.11.